The state fair is officially underway with those gates opening at noon today. A big line waiting to get in to enjoy all the food and the fun. We spoke with fair goers about what they're most excited about this year. It's our first time back in the last, I hadn't been here in about three years, honestly. It's nice. It's kind of pretty out. It might look a little gloomy right now, but it's not so hot. <laughs> Today was a good day to start back. <laughs> I have to go on the rides. I have to. Probably the Ring of Fire or... It's called Fire... Fireball? I don't know what it's called, but it's Fireball. Cool. <laughs> or um, the Antarctic one that goes back and forth. That one's really fun. Again, a big turnout for opening day of the State Fair. While you're out there, we do have a tent. Uh, we are inviting you to stop by. We're just in front of the Canty building. Make sure to stop by and pick up some pictures and other News 19 gear. And for many people, the most important part of the State Fair is the food. Our Sam Perez joins us now at the fairgrounds with a look at what's new this year. Sam? Yeah, absolutely. There are so many sights and sounds here at the State Fair, but there are also a lot of really good smells. So I'm here next to an elephant ear and funnel cake stand, and they have a new flavor. It's cookies and cream, and they're offering that at the State Fair this year. So it's cooking up in the back, and in just a second, I am so excited to try a bite of it. Come, I come for elephant ears. <laughs> Veronica Grant has been coming to the South Carolina State Fair for over 10 years. One of her favorite parts, the food. She's not the only one who thinks that. They want to come eat and food's where it's at. And if you don't have new stuff, some people don't want to try it. Which is why there's a new flavor of elephant ears and funnel cakes available this year. Cookies and cream. Ashlyn Massey with State Fair Foods tells me she's been selling that flavor all day. We've been selling a bunch of it over here. Dasani Lewis and Natasha Pritchett tried it out. I got their reaction to their first bite. I mean, this is delicious and worth my $10. It sure is. <laughs> you can get this flavor on two different types of sweet treats, elephant ears or funnel cakes. Massey tells me the biggest difference is in the texture. The elephant ears are made out of a yeast dough and they are more like a donut and the funnel cakes are made out of a cake batter so they're more like a waffle. Um, you can try the new topping or any of the classics every day at the fair this year and hopefully well into the future. And I'm ready to come back next year again. <laughs> All for the elephant ears. <laughs> All right, well, here it is. I am so excited. So you can see there are Oreos, chocolate chips. There is this Bavarian cream. And this is on the elephant ears, but there's also the funnel cake option. So I cannot wait to dig into this. All right, back to you. Some people get all the great assignments. Sam, thank you so very much. How